goodbye London. Look, raining on a last little morning here as we go to the airport. Bye bye Parliament. This is like the greatest hits tour of like all we've done. We just passed Buckingham Palace. There's a high park up ahead of us. I just boarded my seat in Lufthansa. Ready to fly out to Frankfurt for a connecting flight. And we are off to Germany. First look at Hungary on the land outside of the airport. Uh, it's sure uh, the exterior of an airport, but you know, that's pretty cool. My first non-English speaking country, because I don't count Germany, because uh, we were just in the airport at Frankfurt. But yeah, it's great to finally be here since I'm gonna be studying abroad for like three months now. Look at that wild sunset, what do you think? Oh, there's Becca, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, we're leaving out of the airport on the way to Budapest. Uh, I was starting to wonder where the gold march was. Uh, this is starting to look different, more Soviet. Uh, I love that church, that's beautiful. Why McDonald's then? Why the McDonald's? Yeah, there's this, the, the soccer or yeah. football arena. And we just passed the Europe's largest handball arena too, which is cool. That is one beautiful building. Look at that. Mm, that one's a little gray, but you know, it's all good. This is such a nice hotel. It's uh, Corona, Mercury, or whatever. Also, I love how the room keys are like wooden. I'm um, sorry, I've been on my phone all day. It's just been a lot of traveling, so I haven't been using the camera. But this is nice because it's like literally just like a couple blocks down, like down the road from where my, the hostel I'll be staying in. So that's cool. Very nice snug room. I love this chair. Very spa lady cinematic. Our view is literally just the front of the hotel and a little bit of the city, but it's pretty. The city at night right now, like this little spot, it's popping. I have to admit, it's popping. It's popping. First dinner here for Sale Pub. They're playing like seven blues music. Feels very American inspired, but like. Also very sick and different. It's definitely an old building and I love the peanuts. You throw them on the floor, it's like Texas Roadhouse. Look at this, salmon, we got some chicken, got some beef. So after a fantastic dinner last night, my first time having Hungarian food and you crushed the British by a wide margin. Uh, it's time for day one. We're gonna go over to a fisherman's bastion. So a little sightseeing, even though I'll be here for like three months. Gonna go over the bridge of the Danube, I think. Also, those hills look so pretty. This is a very nice church now. We're gonna go over to the Elizabeth Bridge. Buddha is more richer, lots of homes, lots of luxury. Oh, it's now healing, Buddha. flat. Sorry, London, but uh, this Parliament building crushes yours. That is insane. It's gonna take some getting used to seeing a monument. And I can't read what it's about. So people park on the sidewalk here. Um, we gotta pull up on the sidewalk too, which is funny, as you can see by the bikes. Now that is a tall, beautiful church. And uh, over there is Fisherman's Bastion. Which is funny, it looks super old, like an old castle. But it's really only like 100, 125 years old. These are built in that you know, neoclassical style. Also, I love these streets. They're just like the pavers are so nice. The wide piazzas. It's a very, very different feel than America. But this is obviously one of the touristy spots. This is where you get your tickets for Fisherman's Bastion in the Paris Church. 
There's the church. There's the bastion. So we got our tickets. We're climbing up to the top. I love this statue right here. <laughs> you know, look at this. Just to see the scale. Now let's walk over for the view. This is Buddha, this is the hills. And there's Pesh, the flat part. Honestly, with this building is, this church is so powerful and nice, but obviously the parliament building back there is kind of, this seems like the crown jewel of all of Hungary. And uh, rightfully so. Out these streets, it really does look so European. Like London looked different, but this is like different, different. Like what you see in the movies, you know, like those international spy thrillers like Jason Bourne or Mission Impossible going to these faraway places. Like there's even elements of like Ottoman architecture here. It's Eastern European, it's, it's, it's impressive. Obviously, I don't think it's like the coolest building or anything because, again, it was built to be a tourist attraction at like an exposition uh, a little over a hundred years ago, so there's not really much history and it's, you know, it's pretty barren, but it's impressive and, again, you come up here for the view. The gelato and the chimney cakes and sandwiches and Starbucks and something to know about Hungary. Is they do love their paprika. It's in like everything, which is perfect for me because I put paprika in everything too when I cook. This park right next to the, the Fisherman's Bastion is uh, very nice. It's very secluded and it smells like smoke. I love it. Whoa, what is this bug? It's like a weird beetle. I've never seen that before. Yo, I love when I see new animals in other countries. Like, even beetles, I have like an affinity for most bugs. I <laughs> like those little red ones, especially when they're colorful. That's so cool. Nice. Also, a lot of national pride. So many Hungarian flags hanging everywhere. It's kind of nice. Yeah, pretty old street. Definitely still in the tourist area, but it's beautiful. And it feels so European, you know, which is cliche American thing to say, but it's true. This is interesting. So right now they're actually rebuilding some former buildings that got mostly torn down or taken down and you know the series of wars and stuff has the history details. Um and they're trying to you know build them back in the same style better than ever. There's a lot of that in Hungary where the buildings look old but they're actually pretty new. And the one I just passed over there is actually uh their version of the White House basically. That's where uh, the president of Hungary lives down that street, so that's kind of crazy that you're like so, you just walk so close to it. Look at this bridge crossing over the funicular. So cool. As it goes down to there, this gets you to Buda Castle. Across the way is the chain bridge and the rest of the city. So much construction going on right now in the city, which is a little unfortunate for sites, but great they're upkeeping everything. I've never seen a snail like this before. How cute. But yeah, we're, uh, Walking up these stairs instead of the funicular. I think we're going up to the castle, but this is uh, a lot. If you saw my London videos, you know how many stairs are up there. But this is uh, something else. At least the nature, this walk that we've been doing is gorgeous. You feel really secluded, which is very unique in a city, generally speaking. So that's been nice. Holy crap, this is gorgeous. Yeah. This is pretty spectacular. This is the National Gallery of Art right here. Right by the castle. I still can't figure out which building is actually the castle. But this is definitely like the most impressive part of uh, Budapest so far. I'm not going to spend much time here though. We're not going to do the full castle tour. But I'm be sure to do it with my friends uh, later on in the semester. This is so weird because the whole city feels like a work in progress. Like, since World War II damaged so many of these buildings, they're rebuilding everything. In the next 10 years, I feel like the city's gonna look completely different. 
He's right now to that like great transition phase. I think it's time to take the funicular down. Look, it thinks it's all the way from 1870. This is so cool and like retro. I love it. I'm at an ATM getting my first Hungarian debt money. Oh, it's a, it's just one note of 10,000. Okay, that's that's fine. 10,000 forints, exciting stuff. First dessert in Hungary is this a peanut caramel or caramel toffee peanut almond cake. I don't really know, but it looks like there's some good stuff in it. So today we've already taken a trolley and now a subway train to get under the Danube because we were just in Buda which you can see up there with the castle and all that stuff and we are now in Pest because look oh my god up close it is just outstanding all the buildings here are insane here's a better look at Buda castle and Matthias church and Fishman's Bastion as well as that one red church right there. I've had my eyes on I think it's super cool looking And if you look way up there on the hillside That is their Statue of Liberty actually, which I hope to see you during my, uh, my three months stay here This statue is like so elaborate. I love it it's So 3D it comes up. Look at this river walk. We're like right there. You could just jump in if you wanted to Now there's the next bridge Wow, uh, these views are gorgeous. Yeah, I love the public transportation in the city. We got so much of it. And I think having a... They use the river so well. Like, London uses the Thames well sometimes, but like, because this is a lot smaller city, it really feels like it's all built around the Danube. <laughs> Cool area, I like this piazza. And they got a Hard Rock Cafe, which is awesome because I plan on eating every single one of my meals at Hard Rock Cafe actually. Uh, yeah, the taste of Budapest right there. First, uh, Hungarian or European in general, gelato. Very excited about this. Um, you know, just tiny one scoop, but blueberry black currant, it looks tasty. That's good. Well, you do not see this in America where it's just construction. No fence, you can just walk right in. After a great quick uh, shawarma from a Greek place, we've arrived at Central Markets just to take a look, and that is some grand building. 1896, sorry I'm on my phone. No camera because I don't want to get wet. Okay, after taking a little walk through the Central Market, I'll definitely be back because it's near uh, where I'm staying. And yeah, uh, wow, what an impressive market. We are at actually the National Museum of Hungary, which looks about as impressive as you think it would. It is, it is definitely something. Very Washington DC-esque. This room is all about tombstones, and uh, there's some cool ones. Look at that guy. These are from Roman times. Strong night at the museum vibes right here. They literally like recreated a house from like 6,000 years ago in the museum. That is so cool. Really cool section on the, the you know, Paleolithic and now Neolithic and Copper Ages. Good stuff. I gotta admit, this is like artful the way they put the tombs literally under glass panes. Like in the ground, that's that's pretty clever. I've never seen a museum do that, nor have like reconstructions like the ones over there. Like, look, I'm like walking over the tomb. Yeah, 
This is my first, uh, only new meat of the year. First new meat in a while. Goose. So the goose, uh, kind of just tastes like turkey, which is not a bad thing by any means, but, you know, not super exciting. Very good food, though. I'm really loving Hungarian food. It was a good restaurant. Um, I had my first goulash, which was fantastic. Um, and now I'm seeing the city from the Danube at night, really, for the first time. And look at this. This is what you see in all the postcards. Absolutely just jaw dropping. I mean, you got Parliament, you got Buda Castle, you got St. Mateus Church, you got Fisherman's Bastion. It really is something to behold. And of course, you got all the ships passing by, too. Yeah, and we also went to a supermarket, a couple supermarkets today, which was cool to just like see what they got and try out some, you know, candies and see what chocolate bars they have, picking up some stuff for friends to bring back home. The goods, you know how it is. Yeah, this is a beautiful bridge, too. Thank you guys for watching. Again, another abrupt ending. I don't know how to record outros when I'm actually in the city, but. Yeah, that was a really eventful first full day in Budapest. Stay tuned for the second day, which is, again, awesome next week. And happy holidays and new year. This is Shane Lavender. Like and subscribe for a lot more cool European vlogs and other content coming soon. Goodbye.